Hey, what's up? Good afternoon to all YouTube subscribers from Justin Fleming. And I'm going to talk to all of you about today's Young and Restless and Bold and Beautiful. To all you people that watch the Young and Restless and Bold and Beautiful. It's for Wednesday, July 19th, 2017. Today, this review. Now, I want to talk, discuss, the first thing I want to do is talk about today's Young and Restless. Now, um, today on the Young and Restless, um... Mariah and Devon were discussing, talking to each other, and um, she's getting a feel, and she's getting a feeling that she's not getting attention from Devon. And you know, and I, and I, I, and I felt very sorry for, for um, I felt, you know, I felt really sorry for Mariah last Monday. She was crying because um, I have a feel, I was getting the feeling that he was going to use that Devon was going to use Mariah. I mean, I was. I mean, can he can he realize? Can't Devon realize that he was getting brain get his got his head twisted by by Hillary just to get get in his just so she can get in his good graces? And, and um, yeah, and I know really. And today she was trying to feeling. She was trying. She was telling Devon if um if she's really. She's telling Hillary. She was telling Devon if Hillary comes first with him. She's telling her if, if she um if she was trying to get the truth from Devon. If and tell telling him telling Devon how she how he really feels about Mariah. And um, Devon was telling her. But our first thing, first of all, Devon told she he told Devon she told Hillary Mariah. It was over, over between her and Hillary, him and Hillary. They're divorced. They're split. And you know what I love today? I love the little speech he gave to, today to Mariah. He was taking, she took Mariah's hand, and Devon told Mariah that she helped him find happiness and builds him up every day. And um, Mariah, Mariah agreed, agreed to be his by his side, and I loved it. I really loved that little speech. I knew it was, it was everything was going to be fine between Devon and Mariah. See Hillary. See I got. See Hillary. I'm tell you something about Hillary. I see Hillary was just trying to. I got a feeling that she, that Hillary was trying to punish Mariah because she was jealous that Devon got with Hillary. Got got, got with Mariah. I mean, sorry. And you know what? I hope. Mariah does get pregnant. I hope she gets pregnant. I hope I hope Divine he I hope Mariah and Divine become a couple. I hope they, they get married. And then I you know like I said, I hope I hope Mariah, Mariah does get pregnant and that will bite Hillary right in the face. Just bite it right in the face. And I love it. That would be good for Hillary. I mean she's already she was the one who was already putting all the moves on Jordan. Now um, I'm going to get to this next one: the confrontation between Dina and Jack in the hotel hotel room. That point was this: um, now Dina, he was lecturing Jack for dumping um, her at the event, and Jack explains to Dina that he had help from to Nikki to help Nikki leave, and Dina doesn't understand. What he, what he was thinking, and he cute and Dina accused him of playing with fire. And what happened was Jack got really pissed off. He got he snapped and he got angry, and he told Dina he just reminded her that Jack. He was telling her that she never that Dina never let someone being married to get in the way. And bam, she slapped her right in the face. That's good for Jack. I mean, how he's hypocritical. He's he's a hip he was like a, he was a real hypocrite. When he told, when he was telling Dina off about marriages, has he forgotten? What about him? Has he forgotten about what his father, what he did to his father's wife, Jill, when 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 he, when Jack and Jill slept together? Has he forgotten about that? He, he that's the only marriage he wrecked. He was the last person. The nerve of me! Can you believe? Can you believe Jack? He's a hypocrite. I mean, the nerve for him to talk about marriages with Dina. And I'm glad he slapped him in the face. I'm really glad he deserved it. Now, let me tell you about this ending to Young and the Rest. The, best, the ending was this, was Nikki 
and Je and, the, and Victor were talking to each other at the cabin, and she and Dicky had tears rolling down her eyes. And Victor um, knows that pretending that they're a couple is hard on her, so they'll no longer pretend. Nikki says that she's the love, love of, um, of Victor's life. And please, please, give me a break. She, she doesn't care about Victor. I mean, she, she, I mean, she only care. She, I mean, she already kissed, kissed um, Jack. Jack, this, you know, this is the second. This is the, how many times is Nikki gonna cheat on Victor? I mean, she can cry. You no, know, big. I mean, she was crying today. I mean, you no, know, she those she can cry all she wants because I cannot wait until Victor finds out that he kissed Jack. It's the only. T it's how many? I mean, this is the sec, sec, like the third. I don't know how many times she cheat. Um, Nikki cheated on um um Victor. I hope she she she. I hope Victor does find out. I hope he really, really he, um, he, Victor really gets Nikki. Dump her ass. It was stupid for her to kiss Jack last Monday. Just because he's um, tired of tired of his dirty work. Oh boy. Now, um, I'm now. The next thing I'm gonna get to is um, the bowl and the beautiful. Today's bowl and the beautiful. Now, um, today's bowl and the beautiful. Um, uh, Bill, Dollar Bill, he was confronting Thomas today. He was confronting Thomas, and um, and get this, he he had the nerve to talk with Thomas. The nerve. At four, um, and he, he was telling t um, Thomas how he, that he should that he should be with Caroline and ha take care of that baby and all that stuff. He's he's a hypocrite. He need he I mean he needs to shut up. I mean, I'm tired of Bill. I mean, his oh this guy Bill. What about has he forgotten about how he never take care of his sons, Liam and Wyatt? What about what about Katie? I mean, he he had a, he had a, he had a lot of nerve today. He I wish someone would just shut him up. Thomas does not want Caroline. He wants Sally. I mean, one about a year ago, she spurned his advances, and uh, and, and she should have thought that before when she was a ridge. I don't understand how hypocritical. He's a he's a guy's a he's a bully. This creep, Bill. I'm sick of Bill. I mean, I can't get get over get over Bill at all. I can't. I mean, he left. He was the one that left Katie and Will, his son, for his sister, for his for um for his, her um his sister-in-law. All that he, you know, um, I'm sick of Bill. I'm really sick of Bill. He, he's he forgetting about. He's forgetting about a lot of things. I mean, he, he, he the one got got hooked up with with um, Brooke. Is he is he is he hypocritical or something? He needs to shut up. I mean, I'm tired of tired of Bill. And, Car and K today, Caroline, and Caroline was confronting Sally today about in in set and um. Sally was telling her that she knows um about what, that what what um. What Sally is doing. She knows, she she knows that Sally is trying to drive a wedge between her and Thomas. And you know what? Um, you know what I love today? I love loved it when she told, when Sally told um, Caroline that we're the real deal, Caroline. That's what she told. That's what she told told Sally told Caroline. You know what? Caroline needs to go back to New York. That's all she needs to do: is go back to New York and leave Thomas and Sally alone. I mean, she didn't want Thomas. Remember? 
she spurned his event a year ago she spurned his advances and she should have thought that before when she was a rich and you know what and, and um now I'm gonna get to this next one Steffi Steffi was being very hypocritical over um 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 Quinn running her mouth about how um about what she did did to her family about and stuff and stuff how she cheated on Eric and stuff has she forgotten what about well has she does she even remember about what she did she cheated too has she forgotten about how when she time when she was engaged to Wyatt and cheated on him with Liam she broke many people's hearts all the time has she even forgotten about how his grandpa her grandfather cheated on her grandma has she forgotten how she went back and forth to Liam too many times over the years Steffi has hurt many many people I can understand I can even stand how hypocritical she is and I can't even get over Steffi she's saying, saying, saying she wants wants Quinn out of the house and all that stuff blah 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 yeah I cannot get over Steffi this she's oh judgmental she she's she she cheated too she doesn't Steffi does not care about who she hurts or how many hearts she breaks she's the most hypocritical person I ever seen on TV I mean she never wanted she never she's the one that never wanted Quinn with her grandfather in the first place I, I, I and, and I don't never I never wanted Quinn with Eric in the first place either but Steffi is the most hypocritical woman I see on seen on TV and she forgot what she did to hope Ivy Allie this goes on and on I'm, and I'm t tired of her. She was, she was just as manipulative as Queen was, Queen and Sheila was. So she has no room to talk whatsoever. She has no room to talk. I'm sick of Steffi. Most hypocritical person I've seen on TV. You know what? I cannot wait. You know, you know what? I cannot wait until Thomas finds out that she hired she had Carol she hired Caroline to drive a wedge between him and, St and Sally and I wonder how Thomas and Liam are going to find out about this I hope I, I bet Sally is going to snitch I bet she's going to snitch on to everybody about what, what Thomas what, what um what um Steffi's been doing I bet Sally's going to tell everyone that Steffi that Sally that um, that Steffi hired Caroline to break a, to drive a wedge between him and Sally. You know what, what? I hope Thomas and Liam will disown Steffi for good. That will, that would be karma for Steffi. She's been hurting a lot of people over the years. Over the years, she's hurt a lot of people. So she has no one to talk. She's no different than anybody else. So that's my little review on today's Young and Restless and Bold and Beautiful. Subscribe to me, Justin Flamin. Have a good afternoon. Enjoy tomorrow's Young and Restless and Bold and Beautiful. Have a good afternoon. Make a comment on video. Hit like. I'm out of your peace.